I just kind of keep climbing. Like you either, you either commit or you don't commit and you just kind of drop off. And when you commit, everything just feels right and you're just flowing through the moves. Climbing outside, there's a big adventure that you kind of have to go on. It's really unexpected. We are climbing in Bears Ears area in Southern Utah. There's all these red walls sticking out. There's cracks everywhere and all sorts of boulders laying on the hillsides and it's cool. It just kind of comes out of nowhere. I'm drawn to high balls. There's more like a headspace style game to it. Up besides just pulling really, really hard. Just the mixture that I like. I like to hear myself breathe. It helps me chill out a little bit and stay relaxed. Just kind of had like a steady breath and kind of kept it calm and chill the entire time. You know, I just like outside a lot. I like the adventure aspect and I like the beauty and the scenery. Wes Walker gave me directions to find this boulder and then we just kind of like adventured up this gully. I knew kind of where it was generally. When I first saw it, I was pretty surprised. It was steeper than I thought it was and it was a lot taller and kind of sketchier than I thought it was gonna be. Because we didn't really have a bunch of pads and the landing, even though it was built up pretty nice, it was just kind of awkward because your feet are like kind of up near your hands. Whenever you fall off, you just like slide down. It was kind of a weird situation. It's kind of scary. When we first arrived, I was trying like just the upper sequence to warm up and I was heel hooking on the crux crimp and I broke it. No. And now it's like half the size and a lot worse than it was. I didn't know if it was still gonna go. I was doubtful and I knew that it was gonna be a lot harder. I got a little frustrated because things weren't going like my way and then I just kind of like sat there for a minute and re realized like wow this is such a good boulder problem. I try so hard. I'm so pumped. I'm a climber and have been for almost 30 years and I was interested in getting my kids into the sport. I took Tanner to the climbing gym early on. He was on the Boulder Rock Club team at about age seven. After about a year the coaches came to me and said, you know, he's got some talent. You should move him up to the next team. Yeah, come on. Woo! 
started competing and started doing, doing well and then we started climbing outside and the progression was pretty quick. Usually when I go about doing something scary or a little bit dangerous, then I just make sure that I can do all the moves and that I'm super in control on all of them. <sighs> that was kind of hard. Holy cow. And usually I won't do it unless I know I'm not going to fall. Obviously I get a little nervous about some of the roots and boulders that he does. I don't think he's super psyched on it. I mean, I feel like from here I'd be pretty close to decking on that ledge even. If I'm there, I talk about it with him. I feel like I can tell if he's ready. When we first arrived at Soft Grit, I was kind of surprised. The gear was not super great. It was like three okay pieces. It was close enough to the deck to where I felt like if I pitched off the top ground up, it would have been like a definite ground fall that I wasn't willing to take. And I just ultimately decided to bail, take the safer way out. Yeah, we came all this way to try soft grit and I didn't really want to waste my day just kind of putzing around on the start and I really wanted to do it. I wasn't sure at first how I was going to be able to get to the chains and there's a little bit of doubt. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get much farther up from where I am now unless I just like climb it. There's no obvious way to really set up a top rope either. There's no roots on either side of it. Then we had to like find out a way to get on top of it and we just ended up aiding this like super sandy crack. I was excited. I was happy to get on and finally climb it after doing all these top rope rehearsed laps and doing the moves on a rope. I was excited to balls up and just do it.
it's really special to climb in an area with such deep-rooted history. I think I climbed inside a lot when I was younger. So climbing outside yeah, is just different and Hike. new. Yeah, dude. What caught my eye about these two climbs was their simplicity. They're really the only way to climb that section of the wall, and I think that's really cool. I'm usually pretty stoked when I send something big or proud. I'm just happy that it's done, and it's just fun. Like, it's a good feeling of accomplishment.